Hey everyone, it's Lauren here and it's June 2020. Happy birthday month to me. I'm so excited. As um, And I thought I'd share this little shopping haul with you. I, as a, as a lovely surprise, I was asked to be a guest designer for Felicity Jane in the month of June. So I ordered, I had a beautiful kit coming and so I thought I'd order some extra little goodies for me just to have have in June as a special treat and as a bit of a celebration for being asked to um, create for them. It was a big surprise and I felt very honoured that they like my scrapbooking style enough for me to showcase their products. So I added on a little bit of shopping and I thought I'd share with you guys what I got. So I've got lots and lots of goodies here as you can see. Um, Felicity Jane is a uh, sort of like a boutique scrapbooking company. If you haven't heard of them, I'm going to link them in the description below so you can pop over and check it out. You can buy their, subscribe to their kits or you can buy their products individually. So I added some extra things on and one of them was this sort of classic, what do they call it? It's like a classic pack. Um, so a really great fundamentals pack of 12 by 12 papers and you get a couple of um, light grey and white grid style pieces and then on the back is that light grey dot so that's good then we get got a beautiful black and white check so you get two of that there and on the back is that tiny little black and white spot and that gorgeous scalloped edge and then we've got a peachy beautiful peachy pink um, in that grid and on the back is that beautiful light pink again in a spot with a classic little scalloped edge down the bottom so I thought they are good essentials and they're great for foundation pages and um, definitely my my style so that's the paper pack that I got I also got out of the Grace collection. I got the Grace chipboard bits and the Grace designer tabs. So these bits, these Grace little bits are super tiny. They are sweet. They are perfect for adding in those tiny little spots that sometimes you can't find words for. I'm just trying to, I'm just not sure I can show you how super tiny they are, but they are super tiny and delicate and just absolutely lovely so I thought I'm going to get those and then I'm going to get the Grace Designer tabs and these are really beautiful some of these have stitches on them there's 12 pieces in this pack and some of them have these little like these is they've already got adhesive on them and they're little tabs that you can fold over but some of these have this little stitching on them and then you can just get these super tiny little words and they'll fit just perfectly on that little tab there so that probably gives you a bit of an indication of how super sweet and tiny that little collection is there and there's, so that's the Grace designer tabs and the Grace chipboard bits I'm just going to put those chipboard bits away just because I know that they will fall out and I would hate to lose even just one of them <laughs> so that is the Grace goodies then I picked up some Jill goodies and I got the Jill chipboard bits and bobs once again these are really tiny and delicate and they're just perfect little little feature pieces for a layout so I picked up those. Look at that gorgeous little leopard print there and the gingham with the heart and these little super tiny tags. So loved goals. Yeah, so that's a lovely little set there. And then I also picked up the Jill die cut shapes. So there's a little snapshot of them. And there you see Jill there. So I'll give you a quick 
quick little look at those. I've got so much. So if you want a cuppa you can, and you're really interested in having a look at all these Felicity Jane goodies I've got, then pause me, go and get a cuppa and sit back and enjoy a close-up look at a number of the little little bits I got from each of the collections. So this is the yellow, the grey and the sort of the peachy tones in this collection. So there's a flower, there's Jill, another floral, you've got this, some beautiful tags, look at that gorgeous classic rose there, a little gingham, a little scalloped edge there, some tags, you are strong, go girl, you are beautiful, and look, these gorgeous little delicate little banners there. So that's a lovely, a lovely collection. Um, I love to add mixed media onto my scrapbooking um, pages. So I know that even if I just picked up the ephemera pack and the little bits and bobs, I, I would be able, using mixed media, to create my own background and um, put together a like a sweet little layout just with ha having purchased those couple of couple of elements um, I'll be able to go through and get those color tones out of my mixed media products to be able to create like a custom background I then picked up um, the this is henna collection so I picked up the 3x4 journaling cards in henna and you'll be able to see the color palette be good to yourself Look at those gorgeous spots. Today, a little floral cluster. Numbers 1 through 9, good for journaling. A gorgeous diagonal peach stripe. That little tab at the top, a classic black and white. Love, the larger polka dots. Finding beauty in the mess. A little notebook style in that. It's brown and gorgeous colours. The blue, and we're back to the beginning. And... Here's a little sneak peek of all the the henna die cuts. There, there we go. And I'll show you those. Haven't I spoiled myself? Look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. I can see some glitter. I can see glitter. Look at that gorgeous scripty font there. Season. That beautiful floral journey. There she is. There. Oh, Oh my gosh, how gorgeous is that? The beautiful henna on her bike with her flowers. How lovely. There's her bike. And we've got these little classic tabs with that copper copper glitter on there. I don't know if you can see that. And we've got high, some floral clusters, clusters, a little heart, another floral today. Some little tags and some little journaling spots there and some more little leaves and a floral and here we've even got some foiling in a copper gold foiling there it's okay so that is a super sweet look at that beautiful color palette and I'm going I know that I'm going to be able to make a gorgeous couple of layouts using those bits and bobs and that is the henna henna collection and then I picked up some of the Denise collection. So here's Denise. I picked up the Denise puffy stickers. Look at that absolutely sweet bow banner there. Enjoy the beautiful florals. These are tiny, super tiny. Little puffy hearts, little banners, a butterfly smile, happy. That is just so sweet there. I hope you can see that. And then I've got the 3x4 cards in Denise as well. And look at those tiny little hearts. The stripe. The floral. Friend. Oh gosh, look at those peaches. They're beautiful. The check. That beautiful floral. Black and white. Can't go wrong. The diagonal stripe. A happy place. And a gorgeous scallop there. Oh no, another one. Peachy pink polka dot. Beautiful. And then I got the Denise die cut shapes. And this here, there's a little snapshot. So, here we go. 
there we go. So we have sister. I'm, I've got four sisters, so this will be wonderful for that. There she is. Look at her. She's delightful. Looking very casual in the shorts and, and her shirt. That beautiful floral there. We've got a couple of tags. There we've got plenty of little floral elements. Determined, funny, forgiving. Some speech bubbles for journaling. What's this one? Beautiful. Happy, lots of little words there. The more florals, hearts, leaves, friend, and these a bunch of these. What's that one? Thoughtful, bunch of these delightful little bows. And what's that other one? Determined. So we've got oh, and kind. Another little floral there. So look at that gorgeous little die cut set. And that is in the Denise collection. There she is, Denise. You can go on top. <laughs> there we go and then I picked up some of the Bailey collection look at those little epoxy these are really flat sweet little epoxy stickers there the hearts and they go from a large one down to a super tiny little one there in that gorgeous colour palette the Bailey journaling cards here there we go, we've got the hearts, we've got a classic stripe, love, oh that's sweet, details, that mint and white, those gorgeous little scallops there, the sweet florals, a yellow check, more black and white classic, more stripes, today, tomorrow, always, beautiful little squiggly polka dot. And we're back to the heart. So that's those. And then I got the Bailey die cut shapes. And this looks so sweet and pretty. This colour palette's perfect for my little girl. She's sweet and pretty sometimes. Most of the time. This one has some gold foiling in it. Look at that little gold foiled heart. Oh, look at this. Love. How cute is that? Where is she? There's Bailey. Look at her blowing all these gold foil hearts at us. Oh gosh, she's lovely. <laughs> there we go. A little heart cluster. Bows. Love note with my whole heart. Little envelope with the heart. Look at that. You and me. Kiss cuddles. Some rainbows. More hearts. A little floral pot. Look cute pink and white little love hugs and kisses more little hearts how cute is that one look at that and some little tags as well and some larger foiled heart there and those gorgeous little tags so that is the gorgeous little Bailey set there that I picked up. I'll put Bailey over here. There's more. Hang in there. I did. It is my birthday. I picked up this gorgeous little black and white bow. I thought this will be great for one of my journals or my um, planner album. I thought I couldn't go wrong with that. Sort of a bit of a, a buffalo print. I picked up some more library cards. Just three by four. Perfect for journaling. Here, look at that beautiful floral and then look at this color palette the peaches the white the mint there you go look at that there all the borrowers cards and on the back it's got date and borrowers name so that's a beautiful little set there then I picked up a couple of classic black and white polka dot super tiny little alphas it's got the numbers on the back which I love I'll just take it out of that so it's not shiny so there they are, they're little stickers. So I've got two packets of those so I don't run out of letters and I can make lots and lots of titles with that. And then I had to get these little black and white, tiny black polka dot um, puffy. It's in the Essentials collection there. And once again, it's got the numbers, but oh my goodness, this. I just, when I saw these, I thought, I have to have these. Look at that tiny little black polka dot. 
how cute is these? Like just cuteness overload. So that's those. I've got two packets of those. And the next super sweet thing is how cute are these little puffy, puffy hearts? They're just on circles with a little puffy heart classic. And I thought, just, you know, when you're doing that layout, you just want to put that one little thing in that one spot. Well, this is them. Uh, this is what it, this is just so me. This is what I'm looking for all the time. So I've got 84 of them now in all these different colours. So they are super sweet. And I picked up a stamp set, Month and Day, which has this, just this beautiful, sweet, scripty font with all the months and all the days. And then in a, a solid sort of text font, I've got all the months and all the days again. And then down here, we've got the year and these little bits here so I can um, add my journal and create my own date on there. So I thought that's a classic one, perfect for any scrapper, scrapper just to add that date and date and day on your um, on your project or in your traveler's notebook or in your planner that's a perfect little set so I grabbed that one and lastly I you can buy these little um, backing cards and the little black heart and these little em envelopes with the scalloped edge I don't know if you can see that scalloped edge let's see if you can that's a little scalloped edge plastic sleeve you can buy them to put your own things in so I thought what I would do is I pick up a set of those and then the leftover bits and bobs I can put in there but I'm also using the Felicity Jane digital kits and I often print off those and run them through my silhouette and I end up with bits left over so I thought I'm going to create my own um, little ephemera packs um, using the digital kits and I will have them all matching looking really pretty all together with all the other Felicity Jane goodies there so that this is really great if you're like me who likes a scrapbook with digital kits um, by printing them out and making them um, into ephemera and things like that and you can use these little little bags here to store them I also picked up these little storage cases as well and I thought I can put all my little journaling cards and ephemera pieces into them and then I know that all my Felicity Jane goodies will be stored all together and that's so cute. It's got that little scalloped edge again. It's got that little that class and I know that I'll just be able to slide all my ephemera packs into there and then I'll have these little bags full of Felicity Jane goodies. So here is my birthday. Oh, no, no, wait. I've got, look at this. I picked up some washi tape. Look at this, a little black and white collection. So I got a black and white polka dot, a black and white stripe, and a black and white cute little whimsical heart. And check out the width of this one, which is like a gingham check in a black and white. So I can't wait to scrapbook with those um, classic little washies there. I don't buy washi very often but when I saw these I thought I think I have to have that whole set so there they are so there is my Felicity Jane birthday present to myself and I hope if you haven't heard of Felicity Jane this may have just you may have just fallen in love and if you have not been sure on each of the collections at least you've got a little taster here of a few of the collections available at Felicity Jane so head on over and check them out if one has jumped out at you. Alright guys, thanks for checking in and watching my scrapping haul. Take care. Bye.